Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Boost a Budget Builds, I'm Grizz. Um, I wasn't going to videotape this or do a video over it because it's pretty simple, but uh, I figured maybe somebody could uh, get some uh, use out of it. So, uh, anyway, um, the last video um, you've seen, I uh, disassembled the struts and springs and uh, checked them all out and everything. Well, now... Um, I'm cleaning the uh, springs up. I've already done the struts. I can show you some show you some video or v footage of cleaning those up. I mean, just basically Scotch Brite pad and some uh, degreaser. I'm using this uh, LA Awesome stuff, as you can see, going through almost a bottle of it. Uh, I get mine at Dollar Tree. It's a dollar a bottle. Um, stuff's really good. Uh, I actually let. The springs here, as you can see, there were, there were a lot more rust on here. Now it's just a little bit of surface. But I actually let them soak overnight in a bucket, and I just soaked the crap out of them with that L.A. awesome stuff. Um, and it, it actually cleaned a lot off, and then what's left on there is coming off really easy. Uh, I'm just using a Scotch-Brite pad, um, a green one like this. Um, I don't even know if you want to call them Scotch-Brites, but I give them a Dollar Tree. Um, they're just scoring pads. Um, they work great for, uh, well, just like a Scotch Brite, you know, like super fine. Uh, to get ready to paint stuff, to scuff them up. But uh, anyway, here's one. If you can see it, I'm in my in my basement, by the way, so it's kind of cluttered. But forgive me. But uh, as you can see, it cleans them up really nice. Um, and I got this one hanging. This is how I'm going to paint them, so that way. Uh, I can get paint underneath where they touch there, and I just got them hanging up here on a cord. So, but uh, anyway, I'm just taking the Scotch Bright pad, wrapping it around it, going back and forth, getting all the. As you can see here, the difference. Um, I hope you can see, but like there, I haven't touched yet, and like up here, I have. So you can kind of see the difference, um, or even better yet, there's one that these are the front springs I haven't touched at all. And this one I've been working on a little bit. So, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna get all these uh, cleaned up, scuffed up, and uh, I will uh, hit you back whenever I get that all done. All right, guys, uh, I got the uh, springs all finished. Um, I forgot to say on before uh, beforehand in the last video. Whatever you do, please wear some type of respirator. I mean, you're dealing with rust and other gunk. You don't want it inside your lungs. Um, on the, uh, the bigger springs, I got them sitting up here, um, the, uh, scotch Bright pad worked really good on these because the springs are spaced out further, but on these, I ended up using a wire brush to get in between them. Um, it worked a lot better than the scotch Bright. So, uh, but as you can see, I got all four of those done. Uh, a lot of work. Uh, next thing I got to do is... I have to clean up the forks that go on the bottom of the front. Um, so uh, I got to get those cleaned up, and that's what I'm doing next. And then after I get those cleaned up, I can uh, show you guys. Uh, I can show you guys the uh, struts I've already got done. Um, they're assembled, but just just put together so I don't lose any of the parts. Um, but uh, let me get to that, and then uh, we'll be back. Hey guys. Uh, welcome back. Um, I've got the all the springs, the forks. Um, they're all cleaned up. I used uh, isopropyl al alcohol <laughs> uh, to clean them all up with rags. Um, here I can show you real quick. There they are, all cleaned, all hanging on their uh, hangers for painting. Uh, here's the forks. I'm getting ready to go out and paint those right now. It's like uh, <laughs> 10 degrees outside, so I'm hoping the paint's going to adhere, and I'm going to let them uh, let them cure inside where it's warmer. So, But uh, here are the shocks, struts, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're not completely finished. They're all cleaned, and I scuffed them all with the uh, Scotch-Brite, but there's still a little bit more work to do on them. Um, and I'll get to that as these are after I spray, after I spray these and, uh, they're curing. So again, uh, I'll be back in a bit. Hey everybody. All right. Um, 
I got all the springs and the uh, forks painted. Um, now I'm working on doing all the uh, extra parts that go to the strut. Um, as you can see there, uh, I've got the the sleeve covers, um, some of the uh, washers that I'm going to be using. Again, I'm just scuffing all these guys up with a Scotch Brite. Um, here's the cap. Um, if you want the paint to stick well, you need to make sure you get uh, a dull um, look over the entire part, and then you need to clean it with some uh, alcohol, um, paint thinner, whatever. I, I've always just used alcohol; it works fine. But uh, as you can see, this has kind of got a dull finish. This one isn't completely finished yet. But if you look compared, sorry guys. If you look compared to this one, see how this one's still shiny and all that? I mean, it's kind of dirty, but um, shiny and then that's dull. That's where the, uh, sorry, that's where the scotch Brite pad comes in. It's almost like a super fine sandpaper. Just be careful because it's going to leave this dust stuff um, you can clean up. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing now, sc uh, scuffing these up so I can shoot them. Um, a tip, whenever you take all your struts apart, you see how I've put all the rubber pieces, you know, that isn't going to get painted. I've kept them together, so that way you know uh, which ones go to where. It probably doesn't make a difference. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, you want to keep the rears with the rears and the front with the fronts, but they're kind of easy to tell apart. Uh, you know, also with, you know, the parts here, all these washers are the same. Um, the caps are obviously... Uh, they're a little bit different. Um, the rears have got this uh, oval look on the top of them. That's where those little gaskets you see right here. Be very careful when you take these off if yours has them because they rip really easy. Um, but uh, other than that, just keep everything separate so you know where everything goes and maybe take a picture of how it all goes back together if you don't have a great memory. Um, but yeah, that's what, uh, that's what I've been doing for the last hour or two. Um, I'm going to get these all prepped, get them shot, and then uh, I'm going to start prepping the shocks, get them shot. I'm shooting everything in just a black primer for right now. And then uh, once it sets, probably overnight, I'm going to uh, shoot the gloss black and the gold. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video here. Um, I got a lot of the uh, primer put on everything. I didn't get the primer put on the shocks because I ran out of primer. But uh, I'll show you what I've got done so far. And uh, we'll catch up on the next video. Alright guys. As you can see, I've just got flat black primer on uh, these parts. Uh, I tried to do the washers and the nuts too because some of them have a little bit of surface rust. But... Uh, here's the forks. Um, they're hanging up. They're basically dry. The primer dries really fast. But uh, as you can see, I think I did a pretty good job on those. Here's the first. Here's the rear springs. Oh. I missed a little bit there, didn't I? Well, they're still going to be getting more coats. But I'll have to remember that. Yeah, I missed a little bit on these too. But like I said, they'll be getting another coat. I'm thinking about doing... Damn, I did it on all of them, didn't I? I'm going to have to flip these back upside down. They looked good outside, guys. I don't know. Oh, I missed some. But uh, here's the caps. And as you can see, uh, there's a couple drips here and there. But like I said, these aren't even going to be seen. It's basically just removing the surface rust. So that way, you don't have any more problems. Uh, same thing with these. Although I'm thinking about painting the, uh, the springs gold. Um, I haven't decided on the, uh, the forks yet. 
I don't know if I'm gonna do those gold or leave them uh, black. Uh, all these are gonna uh, get uh, gloss black anyway. This is just a primer. So, but anyway, guys, here's the forks. Like I said, I had them broke apart. They're cleaned. Um, before I paint them, I'm definitely gonna scuff them back up with the Scotch Brite. But uh, other than that, that's about it. And then of course I got to tape off the uh, the shafts. So, but that will be the next video. Um, it's gonna be. It was really cold today. Like I said, it was only like 10, 12 degrees outside. That's why I'm having everything cure inside. But Friday, because this is a this is Monday. Friday we are supposed to have like 50 degree weather. So that's probably when I will finish painting everything uh, permanently. Alright guys, well, I'm Grizz, this is Boosted Budge Builds, and this is uh, the first episode of the uh, cleaning up the painting of the suspension parts, so, or the start of them. Uh, we will see you in the next one.